Why are you crying? Why are you crying? Are you serious? <laughs> hey, what's going on? I'm Charlie. I'm Jean. Thanks for tuning in to Multi Casket. You'll never know. So, uh, what had happened was we went to the uh, Kentucky Bourbon Trail. And if you have not seen our advice on the Kentucky Bourbon Trail, where we came back, we had 15 distilleries in five days and came back with 53 bottles of delicious Kentucky. We went a little overboard. We probably. went a lot overboard. But one thing that we didn't do is when we bought this brand new, just came out, and then we forgot not only to open it and review it, we forgot we owned it. So I'm like, coming down here the other day, I'm like, oh shoot, we never even did this. Bardstown Bourbon Company Discovery Series. Um, I believe this is edition five and it is. They're on seven right now. But we got this brand new the week it came out and then kind of forgot about it for whatever reason. But I hear good things. So this is a blend of four different whiskeys. All have corn, rye, and malted barley. There's no weed or anything else in this. What are you doing? I'm pretending that I can read these little Oh, okay. 31% uh, of this is 13 year, 25% is a 17 year, and then the other two blends are seven and four years. But this is mostly uh, eight and above 10 year whiskey. I believe it's 45. No, it's not. It is a, oh, it's a high, it's a cast strength. Look at that, yay, it's a cast yay. strength. Uh, 52.35, so 104.7 ABV proof numbers are in there. I did not realize those are the cast strength. How awesome is that? So see, we have enough whiskey at this point that sometimes we forget what we own. Well, a lot of times, actually. Yeah, we uh, we, we finally caught, crossed that 500 bottle number. So yeah, we're growing our whiskey. Not that we have a lot of uh, uh, Whiskey Crusaders, Matt. I'm not, I don't know if, how much he has his public dollars, so I'll, I'll, I'll keep that number to myself, but he has a lot more than we do. We need so. to start doing a FIFO type of first in, first out. So oh. when we come in here and we, we line them up, first in, first out, FIFO. I thought you were saying, try, I thought you were mispronouncing FIFA, because I'm like, I didn't know you were. FIFO. Big, I'm pretty sure you don't like soccer. First but. in, first out. Okay. I'm a big soccer guy. I love soccer. What you get on the nose well, there? Well, that's an engineering term, FIFO. Uh, this to me as if I'm uh, standing in the Rick House and I forget the guy at, at Bartstown what his name was, but he's putting the little oh, great, great uh, thief guy. in there, the, 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 yeah, the bourbon thief, thief whiskey whatever it's called, whiskey thief. and um, putting it out and putting it in our glasses and it's that smell of the environment of mm. that Rick House with all the whiskey and the barrels and the wet wood and the dampness and the cherries and the yumminess and the, I just want to preach, move in and preach. put my bed in there. Preach. That's what I'm smelling. Uh, well, it can get, it gets hot in there. I don't know how well you'd sleep at night. That's, that's true. Great aromas, because we went in July and it's just sweating whiskey in the Rick House. It's awesome. Well, there's that part. And also, spoiler, our one year anniversary is coming up of that trip of which I will be unveiling a bottle that we did there at Bardstown Bourbon Company that we have not told you about yet. We kept that secret from the 53 we, we showed you in that. So that's coming up as our in know July. I we did keep that secret. That's my memory of it. No, you know, for you know. sure. Anyway, it's coming up in July. So subscribe and stay tuned for that one. Yes, everything you're saying there, a touch of cherry wood, all that oak, it's making me salivate. There's cherry butter. Um. A hinge of barrel char. Hinge? Twinge. Twinge? Yep. Okay. The hinge is on the barrel char. For some reason I'm 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 picturing that like a, a cracker that has like the vegetables baked into the cracker with like a cream cheese, cherry cream cheese topping. I don't know. I don't know, man. This is just this is a lot going on in this nose. I don't think I've ever seen a cracker with vegetables baked in, baked into it. Well, I, I think they call them like Chicken crackers or something, or oh, I love chicken veggie crackers. crackers. I don't know. I love chicken crackers, chicken, chicken biscuit crackers. Yeah, love those, love those things. They got like flavors baked in. Anyway, uh, yeah, this this comes off um, on the nose. It seems like it's going to have a lot of flavor, a lot of caramel, a lot of oak. Not a lot of oak, enough oak. Uh, a little bit of a twinge of maybe some cherry wood. Dark chocolate. Chocolates in there. Caramel toffee. It's got a lot of bourbon notes. Yes. It's got a lot of, what? Look at it. You're on Dark the wall. fruits, red fruits, 
Uh, I agree with that. I don't know. I just want to eat this glass. This this smells to me like it's gonna have powerful character and it's gonna be good on the palate. I'm going in. I'm going. Go but yeah, you you're nailing it with a Rick House wet wood. That is absolutely the my best flavor in this glass. Woo! <laughs> woo! <laughs> you a woo girl? Woo! 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 Okay, so. Uh, you said 52? 53.25. 53. 53. Five. Three, 52.35. I, I would say it's even higher. I would guess that it was higher because it is a lot of concentrated cherry and chocolate. The bourbon on the palate is so over, just like a big handful and they just plop right there on your tongue. Yeah. Nice. Everything that's on the nose, those on the nose is on the palate. I'm gonna add though, Gene. I'm gonna add, and I don't. I've never gotten this note before, but this is exactly right in the mid palate. You're in McDonald's drive-through, right? Yes. I'm loving it, right? And this is their biscuit, sausage biscuit, whatever. This is the biscuit with butter on it, right at the mid palate. It is a McDonald's biscuit with butter. I would have thought you were going to go with the, uh, I don't know if they still make the, the cherry pies at McDonald's. I know they still probably make the apple pies, but the cherry pie, um, it comes mm. piping hot in that cardboard sleeve type of thing. I think I've had one of those ever, but never the cherry. But it's like a, it's a piping hot mm. cherry strudel of sorts. Okay. Uh, to me, I'm, I'm getting more dough than you're getting. I'm getting biscuits. I'm getting dough. I'm getting all the caramels, the, the toffees, the I ground said peppers. Strudel. I said I got the strudel. What's that got to do with what I said? I got, there's dough and strudels. There's dough and strudels. You say strudel, I'm thinking of the icing on the strudel. I'm thinking of the, the, the pastry icing. But you didn't say oh. that, you just said strudel. And I said pie. You said dough oh, and pie. Also a pastry, but no frosting. You know, step your, step your game up, pie. Add some frosting. You've had the pie hasn't changed in a hundred years. Well, they got that. Got to reinvent yourself. If you're not changing, you're falling behind. It's kind of like that hard sugar cookie with the just it's convection sugar. Mixed I love with a hard milk. sugar cookie. Yeah, sometimes those little pies have that kind of frosting. Added a bit of a, a lemon bread, just a hint. Uh, soda bread, maybe even. Is there some rye in here? Did you mention rye? Yeah, there's rye there. Okay. So I'm getting I think the most is, I think it's about 10% rye. I get a little hint of spearmint. I'm gonna go with some more. It's a little higher than 10% rye, probably on average. It's probably on average, I'd say 12 or 13%. I'm gonna bring that rye out. I'm gonna bring her out. Do Come it. on, rye. Do it. If you've not had the Bardstown uh, Discovery Series or Fusion Series, I highly recommend it. Bardstown's doing some cool things. They have all their own corn right on campus now that they've got their own fields at the farm and there it is. There it is. I got that clove and experiment. What is your favorite fusion or discovery series? Is it the five? Is it the six, seven? Is it the one? And we got a special, another special thing coming out with the one. Made completely different than any one you've ever heard of. I don't know what he's talking about. She doesn't. But I do. I got some rye on my nose. Did you get some rye up on your nose? Yep. Mmm. Mmm. You're good. Well, hello. What is going on there? Chocolate. Wow. That really brought the chocolate. It my just goodness. Creamed my what? tongue. Got so creamy with what? cherry, chocolate, pepper. Okay. Caramel, toffee. Ma'am. Elephant ear. That really took me on a journey. I haven't had a whiskey take me on a journey in a while like that. Hmm. As soon as I'm setting it down, I'm like, well, hello. We've not met yet. You're hiding in the back with all that chocolate goodness, milk chocolate. Um, I'm gonna tell you, Gene. You know I want to use the other marker. It keeps leaving like a little pattern. Oh, uh, like it waves, like it's flying through the, the water, needle through water. Um, through haystack. Needle through haystack. What'd you do? I'm gonna say you did an 89 or a 90. What'd you do? 90 with <laughs> with hair. You like a like an English wig. You going to court? Uh, 90, 90. This this is this is really really solid uh, bourbon, guys. And the Barstown do, do a lot of blending. Um, yeah, I do I like would, Barstown. 
I don't, would you, do you consider Bardstown a blender? Barrel Craft Spirits is a blender. Well, they. Compass Box Blender is Bardstown Bourbon Company. Do you consider them to be a blender? I think they're more informative blender because they tell you exactly mm. what is blended. I mean, you mm. know. Compass Box tells you the same. Barrelcraft does not. Well. Anyway, what do you consider Bardstown to be a blender? Do you want to know how much this bottle was? I'm guessing 115. What'd you spend on it? 120. Okay. Right that I don't have a problem with that price. You have a problem with it? Nope. You? Uh meow. A little high for you? A little high for me. Mm. Meow. Right, meow? Meow. Okay. Oh. Well, mm. too, too high. Meow. I would love this at 80. Um yeah, I, I mean, it's a, definitely a hundred plus dollar yeah. bottle, I guess. Uh, mm -hmm. the, there's a lot of, you can you can put water in here and play around with that, uh, with whatever flavors you're wanting to get yeah, out. Yeah, you can. Um, and we were um, talking with some Scotch Malt Whiskey Society people just the other day. Uh, I don't remember, I think it was Zachary. Zachary said... Mm -hmm that um, he was tasting a whiskey and he he was disappointed because it wasn't what he was wanting for a whiskey. And then he realized you don't drink it like that, you drink for what the whiskey can give you. But with what I'm saying, when you have a higher ABV, you can play around with, with water and mm -hmm. bring that whiskey to what you want the whiskey to be. Mm -hmm. Which is why I like the higher ABV whiskeys is that you can you can make it what what you want i'd sometimes. agree with that i'd agree with that you know what i'm saying yep anything left to add charlie no i'm good eugene mm -mm. i'm charlie and i'm gene and i hope you are just as thirsty as we are <laughs>